be talking about energy resources. Here's a graph of the energy used in the United States. You can tell that petroleum is the most used energy source, mostly due to the transportation we use here in the United States. Yeon Kim, the latest news on coal. Yeon Kim, and I'm here at the coal power plant. Coal is not a good resource to use for energy because it's going to run out in 200 years. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Yeon. Next, we will talk about energy resources that are good for the environment. These are called renewable resources. Let's start off with solar energy. Solar energy is clean and free. It only relies on the sun, which won't run out. It is, it is expensive to make the panels and it takes up a lot of space to collect the energy. This is a graph of solar energy uses in the next 90 years. As you can see, it is on the rise. Pauline had to take a quick break, so I'm here with John V in the studio. Another renewable resource is wind energy. The pros of wind energy are that it's renewable, clean, and free. The cons of wind energy is it takes up a lot of space, makes a lot of noise, and it might kill some birds in the process. So now we're going to talk about new innovative energy sources that are becoming more and more common. So one that we're going to talk about is called thermal chemical solar power. Thermal chemical solar power is it captures and releases solar energy with the help of um, thermal technology. A pro is the energy is readily at hand whenever. Some cons are it is very expensive and too impractical to achieve. So as you know, the new innovative technologies are becoming more common common. So now we have another one that we want to talk to you about. Another one is solar wind power. This is when the satellite is launched into space and the wind pushing solar rays um, to the earth are captured by the satellite. A pro is that it will generate enough power no one thought it would be possible. A con is that the rays coming from the sun can lose energy on the way to the satellite. Today we have talked about coal power plants, two renewable energy sources, and two innovative ones. Now you know how you yourself can save energy and what's being done around you. So thank you for watching and remember to save energy. That's it for LMPJ News. I'm Laura Hay. We're here with John B. Kulakarni. Have a nice day.